Hello there, Workwear Nation. Matthew Hudson, CXO at Workwear Safety, with another fit tip on puncture resistance. So, what is a puncture resistant boot and what does it do for me? Okay, so puncture resistance is as it sounds. What we're doing is on the boot itself, we're trying to make sure that if anything comes through the bottom, it doesn't come up into the foot itself. So, it could be shards of glass, it could be uh, a nail, a screw pieces of scrap metal, whatever it is, as I'm walking through that job site, if I come in contact with that, it will keep it from coming through, resist the coming through to get to the foot. Now notice I'm saying puncture resistance and not puncture proof, right? So it doesn't mean that it's guaranteed nothing will come through. It means that the likelihood of injury is dramatically reduced. In fact, you're, you're really wholly protected if you have a puncture resistance midsole. Now what does that look like? So inside your boot, well early on, um, we used to do it, it was like a metal plate, like a piece of metal or steel that was put inside there. And then the problem with that is it's not flexible, right? And what you'll, what they notice is that as you would uh, wear the work boot, remember you put up to two cups of sweat into your work boots every day. That's a, another video you can watch at some other point in time, right? But that sweat would, would uh, corrode the plate inside there and then make it unsafe to have it inside the boot itself, right? And so they, they said, okay, well, we gotta, we gotta fix that. We gotta deal with that. Well, so they found a way to encapsulate it and that, that's part of the standard, but enter someone called Lindsay, the Lindsay plate. Lindsay plate was where we found a way to weave together fabric in such tight waves that it would do everything that that piece of steel was doing in the boot, but be incredibly flexible and incredibly lightweight, right? Which is what allows me to do be incredibly flexible and incredibly lightweight. Now, Lindsay is the, it's kind of the trademark, it's kind of the name. It doesn't mean you have to do that. There are other generic versions of the plate that are people that have out there that you can use. Some manufacturers have their own uh, kind of branded version of the puncture resistant plate. But how do I know this thing works, right? Is gonna be through the ASTM standard F2413-18, which tells us how you're gonna test a puncture resistant midsole to make sure that it works. Now, where are they, Where am I putting this inside the boot? So in the boot right here, you can see in my cutaway, I've got, here's where my footbed is sitting right here. You see this white piece that's coming through here? That's actually the puncture resistant plate, okay? That's that Lindsay plate that's sitting in there. And of course, the black parts, the outsole and mid in, in area. And so you see that if something were to come through the bottom of the boot, that it's gonna hit this piece, which will resist it from coming through and getting into the foot. That's what we want, right? And, and now, I, again, I go back to the fact and say, well, it doesn't mean that it's puncture proof. In fact, take a look at this guy. We had a customer bring this boot into the store and he goes, hey, um, I thought I had a rock in my boot, right? Because I felt something down there and so I took it off and shook it out and put it back on. I still felt that rock and shook it off and couldn't get there of that rock. Wasn't a rock. Okay, he jumped out of the truck. He had one of those 2,500, you know, uh, Chevy trucks, jumped out down onto the ground and that screw went spoom, straight through. Now you might go, well, hang on, Matt. I mean, that went in so that didn't work. No, it did work. Remember the part, first part of the story? He felt like he had a little pebble in his boot. He took it off and shook it. He wasn't injured. He wasn't hurt. The puncture resistant plate did its job. If he didn't have that, that screw would have went straight up into the bottom of his foot and created a severe injury. So understand puncture resistance doesn't mean that nothing's never gonna stick into that. It means it's protecting me from injury. Now, how do we know what that standard is? So that's when we come into using the ASTM again. We come back to our friends at ASTM, right? And they have written a standard, the 2413, that says, here's what I want you to do. If you're going to say, I'm gonna put this in the boot, and you want ASTM to say, yes, that is a puncture resistant plate that is going to do something, it's gonna keep your employees safe. Well, the first thing is, is they're gonna, they put the test bed, they said, number one, it has to cover the whole bottom of the surface of the foot. That's why you see this, see, covers the whole surface underneath the foot. So not just pieces or parts, but the whole thing, right? Toe cap, covers just the toe, this is the hole underneath the sole of the foot. The second thing is, is they take the machine and they, it's like a little pen and they, they pop it up into it, right? They pop it down into it as well. And so they pop that thing down into it to see, does it penetrate? Does it come through? What does it do? And they're really, they're putting about 270 pounds of downforce, boom, down into that with a very tiny pen head that's coming down. So like the simulating the, the, the nail head that's on, on that nail that's coming through there. Now, in addition to that, they also want to make sure that it holds up. So yes, I can maybe can stop it from coming through, 
but while I hold up over time. So the ELSO in the standard, we have to go through 1.5 million flexes of this puncture resistant plate before we will say that it passes. Now, remember going back to the early in the story where I talked about the steel and they kind of corroded. There's also a test for corrosion delamination where they take this thing, they dip it in a 5% salt or saline solution of water and leave it there for 24 hours to make sure there's no corrosion or delamination that goes back to the early versions that they have. So this is what you'll commonly see. It, when inside the boot, it makes it incredibly flexible still, incredibly easy. But I'm, I know that if I'm walking across the job site and I step on something like a screw like that you saw there, that's gonna be everywhere, right? This guy isn't even in the construction business. He's just a guy <laughs> that jumped out of his truck onto a screw, right? But just happened to be puncture resistant and look at what it did, how it protected him from doing that. Make sure the label inside there, the F2413-18 uh, label says PR. Okay, that's telling you that it's not only been tested for safety tow, but it's also toasted for PR that's on there because you guys know as safety professionals, this is your insurance, right? If something happens, there's a recordable. Um, if somebody ha did not wear something that had that on it, you can say, look, you weren't wearing the proper appropriate footwear. Somebody could buy a boot and say, oh yeah, I bought this boot. Uh, it's puncture resistant. Not unless it has a label, right? That's what you have to focus on is does that have that label. Now the question that comes up is can I take a boot that's not puncture resistant and make it puncture resistant? Yes. So here you have uh, the insole that we use is from Mega Comfort. And they basically have taken a steel plate and they've encapsulated it inside here. So they've covered the 1.5 million flexes, they covered the downforce, they've covered the corrosion issues that's there. But because it's steel, it's not the flexible as what you saw on the other piece, but it's still pretty good. So yes, I could take a boot, pull the footbed out and put one of these in there and convert it to being puncture resistant. Okay, so I can do that if I want. So if you have a boot right now that's not puncture resistant, but you're like, your job says you want to, but it's your favorite piece of pair of boots, right? You can buy this and still meet the, the ASTM standard and be okay because it passes the same, that, that plate has to pass the same standard, whether it's inside an insole or whether it's inside the midsole of that boot. So puncture resistance is something that will help something from coming through the bottom of your boot. And even if it does, you're going to be safe.